this you will describe both what a client-server network is and what a peer-to-peer -peer network is, and discuss the differences between them. And also be able to describe some of the hardware and software required. So, if you are connected to a network in your school, the machine you are working on is a client. And odds are that your documents and files and your internet access is managed through the school's server or servers. They may have more than one. You connect to a server to use its resources. Now that just may be file access, that may be web access, printer servers, uh, which we'll cover more, more in a minute or two. Okay. So, here is an example client-server network. So at the centre we have the server and all the other machines which are nodes on the network are classed as clients. So this is obviously it's a very simplistic diagram but this is a, an example of a client server network. So what can a server do? Well there are multiple roles. Some are they can run email server servers. They can just simply store files as a file server. Um, your school probably has some kind of proxy server, so they are controlling your net access and it's fetching copies of your web pages, etc. etc. It might host actual websites, so it's a, it could be a web server, and it could be a print server. So, that for example, all the print jobs are sent to a print server, and the print server then sends them on to to whatever print, print, printer you've told it to. And you might have multiple servers doing multiple jobs, you might have multiple file servers, etc. etc. Now, what do you need hardware and software-wise? Well, if you're running a client-server network, hardware-wise, well, you'll need a fairly powerful server, or as powerful enough as you need it, with enough backing storage and RAM, and a powerful enough pro processor to deal with whatever you're asking it to deal with. Um, the clients themselves will just need some kind of client machine, so some suitable desktop, laptop, tablet. Software-wise, well, the server will need a, a server operating ses system, capable of accepting connections from multiple machines and the clients themselves will need the client version of the operating system and any suitable application software that they need to do whatever job it is that they do. Now the one advantage that the user that client server has is that servers can control the levels of access so for example I as a teacher have a little bit more authority on our network than the pupils. However, the administrator has full access so they can read, write, delete files. I mean, for example, I can look at a pupil's files, but I can't look in another staff's files. Likewise, pupils can't look in other pupils' folders. They can only look in their own. They can only read from the shared drive. They can't write to it. Well, with, with some exceptions. Now a peer-to-peer -peer network is when you don't have a central server, you just have a massive collection of machines connected together. Now peer-to-peers do have their own advantages, there's no expensive server hardware, there's no difficult server software to set up. Um, so cost-wise it can be a bit cheaper. So I mean a sample peer-to-peer -peer network is just where all the machines are connected together, there's no central server controlling any anything. It is a slight disadvantage in that it can be very difficult to um, control security, etc, etc. But you don't have the expense or the, the technical know-how of connecting the, the, the ne network together. They can be used for things like torrent downloading and everything else. Now, the key thing is that um, even although we do diverge slightly, is that the peer-to-peer -peer networks, etc, etc, the technology itself is legal. It may be the files that are downloading that isn't. 